Well, hello there. Welcome to the Obi Thorn Alliance. I'm Jamie. <coughs> like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Uh, hit the notification bell to be notified for the next coming video. Comment about your thoughts. And in today's video, we're doing a first look of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. How are you excited for the um, movie animation, Luke? Yeah, I, you told me that this came out uh, yesterday. I've been excited. I really enjoyed uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Mm. And I believe, is this follow-on? Or is it its own separate thing? Yeah, it follows on. Okay, I really enjoyed that movie. It's one of the highest ranked movies on like IMBD and Rotten Tomatoes. It's generally just good like even if you're not into animation it's just the type of animation's cool the soundtrack's amazing it's just a cool movie so i'm looking forward to seeing what this this holds plus i love spider-man so and it's part one so i guess they're making more parts to cross the spider-verse yeah that's exciting i guess being an animated show they can make it easier like they could make parts one and two at the same time and just stagger the release opposed to mm. a physical movie it's not that simple mm. so yeah i'm looking forward to it let's jump the music is amazing for the spider-man movies mm. Uh, we got a long time away. Yeah. What's your thoughts? That's pretty cool. It's cool that it's not that wasn't a trailer as such. It just was the like, first one. Yeah, it was kind of like seeing a, a scene from the movie. Um, mm. Again, just visually, it just looks cool. They mm. do such a cool job. And even then, at the end, when he went into a different um, like mighty multiverse, it was just so different. Mm. And it, it's a it's a cool. It's like visually, uh, it's next level. Really. What do you What did you take from it? What are you looking forward to? I guess finding out um, who was he fighting at that moment is the other Spider-Man. Who who is that character? Yeah, um, excited that like Spider Gwen's gonna be in it. Yeah. Um, 
I guess it's cool that it gives us a look at it, but it hasn't given away what the storyline's about. So it's no. more clever than a teaser. Yeah. But visually, is the thing that stands out for me. Like we know, well, we've come to expect it from the first movie. Um, I do like that the the Spider Verse movies focus on Miles Morales opposed to Peter Parker. I think that's a cool, different thing to do. Overall, very excited. So far away, though, it's hard to be excited for something that's. I know we're looking at eleven months away, Nelly. Mm. Like a well, yeah, eleven months tomorrow. It's a long time. Do you have like questions of how Graham worked out how to reach uh, Miles Morales, um, like section or multiverse? Because it's like she did she have the same technology that the other Spider Man or whoever that character was um, place like. That's the first question I had. How was she able to get back to where he was? Oh, I'm sure those questions will be answered. I don't know what they are. It'll be something like there's an issue in her multiverse and then she's had to come get uh, Miles to help her and there'd be some kind of long story as to why he's needed. Mm. The reason as to why oh, it could be anything. It could be science. It could be chance. It could be supernatural abilities. The the answer's probably out there. People probably already know through comic books, but I, I'm I don't be speculating. Mm. Did you like the interaction that we had between uh, the two, or it was just a usual snippet? No, it was cool. I guess it's playing on that Miles has a love interest for her. Um, I don't really know much about Spider Gwen. Do you know her story or where no. she gets her powers from? I'm guessing she just might be a Spider-Man female version from another multiverse because she, why else would she be Spider-Gwen? She must have spider-like abilities. Mm. But yeah, overall, very exciting and firstly, we're looking forward to the new Spider-Man movie coming out soon but then that's going to be our next dose of Spidey for a while. Mm. And the, the trailer keeps saying part one so... Like I said at the beginning, I guess we're getting more parts of across the Spider-Verse? Yeah, I'd say so. It's probably a two-part thing. Um, I guess the reason why they say part is probably because they want to extend it over two movies opposed to just making a sequel. Because mm. otherwise you could make multiple sequels, but part implies that the, the problem doesn't get resolved in one movie so it requires a second one to do it opposed to having just a sequel where it's a whole new problem do you like the title of across the spider-verse or do you like into the spider-verse more no i think across the spider-verse is cool it's implying that the first one we got an intro into what the spider-verse is and then this one is showing how we can go across them so that's a clever name mm, guess we didn't really get that much information but definitely excited it's it's very much a, a tease of, oh, we're getting a sequel. Oh, definitely. And I think we're going to get more trailers and things along the way to give us more indication of what's going on. Mm. So, do you think you can wait that long until October 7th? Or is, there's other things coming out, so... Oh, I, um, I don't have the option. I have to wait, I guess, but... I, I, w I would like it to come out sooner rather than later. It's something I'm excited about, but as I said, the first thing we've got to focus on is the new Spidey movie coming out, and then from that, then we can turn our attentions to that. And I think, I think we will. I think we might get a few more snippets after that movie's came out. I think they're, they don't want to build up the hype on this and then take away from the new movie coming out. Mm. But then they want to jump on the hype train now and promote that whilst people are preparing. Like, there's no doubt we will probably see that trailer or sneak preview before the Spider-Man movie comes out. That makes sense. Yeah, so I think they're, they're planting the seed uh, tactically. Well, thank you for helping, Luke. Hope you enjoyed the first look. Can't wait to see the movie in October. Let the force be with you. Bye-bye.